So it's now day 39 of cab isolation lockdown learning. The letter of today, uh, the letter of the day today is B for bales because we're loading bales. I've set a time lapse up in the corner of this yard so we can put um, a video on of, of that and you can see how I put them on in, in threes and twos to make it make it work easier when we're stacking and see what we're doing and it gets the wagon to the exact right height for fitting on the motorway bridges. So I'll put the time lapse on after this and you can see see that working. So we're loading straw here now in time lapse. The bales are 2.4 meters long, 70 centimeters high and 1.2 meters wide. Can you work out the maximum height of the load of straw and also how many bales are on each one? That should be a good maths puzzle. And also the total weight of each bale if the whole lot weighs 19 tonnes. So the wagon's just pulling on the weigh bridge now. Um, we've weighed the wagon first and now we're just about to weigh the trailer because they both don't all fit on the weigh bridge at the same time. So we'll see what the total weight is of everything and then we can work out what the weight of each bale is. So we know the weight of the empty wagon and the empty trailer. So that's the weight of the trailer loaded. So we'll take it all off to each other and it'll tell us the total weight. Been blocking up a gateway over there where a car went through and a motorbike's been coming on the field. And I'm just looking here now. They've obviously coming in and out of this bit here. And we've got a burnt out motorbike down there. Hmm. So I think I'll make it a bit more difficult here and dig another trench. Just in the workshop now, welding up the air. Uh, wheel assembly off the drill that broke the other week yeah the other side's gone so we're just gonna fix this now and then we can drill the sweet corn in a minute welders run out of gas but as we say that's rough enough there's the drill now ready to put it on so we've got some fertilizer in the mixer now we'll put the seed in and then as we sow the Sweet corn, it's got fertilizer so right next to it so it'll get growing pretty quickly we hope. So we're out in the field now drilling sweet corn or maize, whichever you want to call it, but this should be a sweet variety that we can pick for eating. Um, the drill at the moment now, we're only using the back row of seeding units so that it puts the seed about 60 centimeters apart in 60 centimeter rows. So we get a lot of light down the rows. So hopefully we'll get a lot of cobs on, um, on each plant. Um, it's bouncing up and down a little bit because last year the field was worked in a different direction. But we've got the GPS on on RTK set. So it's driving itself to about, about, um, about that, hold on, about that much accuracy, hopefully. So um, we've got 17 acres to do or about six or seven hectares. So hopefully we'll get it all done tonight actually thinking about it we probably won't get it all done tonight because we've got three different varieties and um we have to keep changing it cleaning the drill out between each variety because we want to do a trial and see which one grows the best and which one tastes the nicest come sort of um august september when it's ready to harvest but really it'll be picked i know big kids and little kids like tractors so here's a close-up of it drilling always looks bigger when you lay on the floor taking a video That's about it for today. Don't forget to count all the bees and do the maths on the bales. Here's a montage of the three different types of fly tipping we've had today alone in different gateways around the farm. See you all tomorrow.